alcohol can affect brain and body so let's begin talking about the brain it can change the brain chemistry the neurophysiology the neuroanatomy and it can bring a lot of different effects on the body so that is the first point the second point would be alcohol can affect men and women separately that is because the enzymes that the women can develop is different so where the blood alcohol in women can be more and the third point would be alcohol is something that can affect a person's genetic composition which means a father who is drinking can actually predispose the genetic composition to the son so which means the son can have higher risk of developing alcohol behavior as the child grows up the fourth point when we talk about alcohol there is something called tolerance behavior if a person is drinking a couple of drinks today after a week the person is not going to feel satisfied with the same couple of drinks and the person would require drinking even more so that is why over the period you see people drinking more and more and that is called as the tolerance behavior next comes the withdrawal features which means there are mild to moderate and severe features of withdrawal symptoms so let's say a person has decided to quit alcohol now if a person is not able to take measures a professional help to quit alcohol and if a person has been drinking alcohol since many years there could be some sort of a chronic health issues which a person can develop but when we talk about the withdrawal symptoms it is how a person is going to experience some sort of uh, issues when the person withdraws let's say when we talk about the mild to moderate severity the person can show some sort of an irritability agitation and when we talk about the moderate features the person can even act paranoia the person can even develop hallucinations the on a severe level we can talk about a person even having epilepsy in fact during the pandemic when the entire month was closed there has been many deaths reported because of withdrawal symptoms so even deaths can be resulted because of withdrawal symptoms alcohol is considered to be a central nervous depressant now let's talk what it is about so let's say most um reasons people give in consuming alcohol is a stress management some say it's a prescription for their anxiety some say uh, when they have kidney stones they drink alcohol to feel better in fact a lot of time people consume alcohol as a self prescription but the reason people take alcohol is absolutely a myth it is never a fact and the fact is alcohol is a central nervous depressant which means if a person is consuming alcohol to feel better at the end of the day but the fact is alcohol can cause depression for those who don't even have a predispositional factor of de- depression and when there is no family history no past history still consuming alcohol over a period of few years can cause depression in a person one of the major reasons of road traffic accident is alcohol over the over the uh, period of uh the last two decades we have seen the rise of accidents because of the alcohol consumption and that is explained because at the end of the day when the person has to reach home after work they try to sneak in to a place just to drink a couple of drinks but when we talk about the tolerance every time the person is drinking because of the tolerance the person ends up drinking more and that is why the road traffic accidents nowadays the most reason uh, more common reason for rta is actually alcohol the next point is irritability and violent or the aggress- aggressive behavior let's talk about them in terms of family society as well as the workplace when we see a lot of time people who have issues at the workplace they have issues in dealing with the workplace adjustability issues again one of the most common reason for such issues are alcoholism alcoholism can also make a person become more irritable and nowadays we have been identifying a lot of marital concerns where people comes to us for filing divorce or they want to come for a marital issues and when we identify there is again uh, the higher risk of alcoholism in people who also experience marital issues and in fact we can we have also seen where people end up in a road rage where people end up you know quarreling with each other or where a person has to speed up so one of the major reason for road rage is also alcohol now the question is why do people consume alcohol 
and the reason is alcohol is one of the most common available psychoactive substance. So now the question is, is the person depending on alcohol or is the person getting avail uh, alcohol very easily available? Or the question is, is the person not ready to try anything else outside of alcohol and ending up into alcohol? Now that we have identified alcoholism as a medical condition, it is a psychiatric disorder. So if you or someone else that you know who has alcohol issues, it is highly recommended that you reach out to a mental health professional and get the medications. Now let's say not all the person who has alcoholism will have to end up taking medication. There are various different modalities available to it. So let's say if you know someone who is an alcoholic, instead of using the term alcoholic, you can approach the person saying that you have drinking problems. So I would recommend you to go to a mental health professional or even you can use the word professional. So it is highly recommended if you know someone to support the person to recommend them to visit a professional or if you feel that you have I think it's high time to break the stigma the society has a lot of stigma about reaching out to a professional but alcohol can kill a person it can kill a family it can disrupt a society so before alcohol takes over you I think you will have to step up and visit a professional and seek help.